Hi everyone, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing great. Today we're going to tackle about financial literacy of teenagers. Does what you know now affect your future? That is the big question that we're going to answer today. Of course, what you know today affects tomorrow. You couldn't drive a car without a license, which is very, very important. That's why you need to begin learning about how to spend your money wisely today. How does your attitude toward money change as you age? When you are five year old, you always tell your mom, come on ma, can I have a dollar to buy that ring? Then when you become 14 year old, this is your dialogue. Mom, I want $60 to buy that designer label top and those cool pants. And when you become 18 year old, shoot, how can I get money for college? I ask mom. And when you become 40 year old, this is now your dialogue. I need to save for my retirement. No excessive spending. What are the differences between savers and spenders? When we say spenders, it receives short-term satisfaction by getting an object they want immediately. And when we say savers, save for items and appreciate them forever. Spenders also have little money in the bank because they spend their money on pricey items. Often are in debt and have no money set aside for the inevitable rainy day. But for the savers, have money in a bank because they knew how to manage their money, prepared for financial emergency. So those are the difference between the savers and spenders. May I ask something? To what kind or classification you belong? Are you a saver or a spender? Think about it. Definitions you should know. When we say literacy, it means having an expanse of knowledge in a certain subject, or you're knowledgeable about that subject or a specific um, topic or idea. But when we say finance, it is the management of money. It is how you manage or use your money. Why is financial literacy important? Why do we always talk about financial literacy? America is about money. People are defined by how much money they make, possess, and what they do for a living. Therefore, to be successful and look well upon in the future, you need to know how to manage your money accordingly. How does entrepreneur relate to financial literacy? First off, what is entrepreneur? When we say entrepreneur, it is a person who owns, manages, and takes the risk of business ventures. So how does that relate? Well, an entrepreneur has to be financially literate in order to succeed at his business venture. He or she needs to understand how to spend, manage, and budget their money to get the most profit. Then, how does financial literacy affect you? Financial literacy affects everyone in different ways. But the uniformity behind it is if you manage your money wisely, you will have a large sum of money to fall back on. On the retirement of emergencies. Example, house burning down. How does financial literacy affect you? Financial literacy affects everyone in different ways. But the uniformity behind it is, if you manage your money wisely, you will have a large sum of money to fall back on for in retirement or emergencies. For example, house burning down, bankrupt, or any problems that may be encountered by someone. Then how does financial literacy affect you today? 
You can never learn something overnight. Yes, you can never learn something overnight. An education on a subject needs to grow with time. If you learn about money or money management now, you will be prepared in your future. Then how do you find the career of your dreams? First, study what interests you and learn how that applies to life or careers. Next, look at different job options and figure out which job best fits you. That is intellectually, physically, and financially. Once you figure out a career path to you, you want to take, be aggressive in following it. Don't let the opportunity pass you by. Then, how to become successful? That is the biggest or the big or huge question this time. How to become successful? For the employee, think outside the box. Always contribute positively to your occupation. Enjoy what you do. And know how to invest and save your money to have for your retirement. And for business owner, make the employee feel he or she is part of a family, not a business only. Give incentives. Give positive feedbacks. Respect your employee's opinions. And manage your money accordingly to make yourself the most profit. Those are the different ways to be successful. Thank you for watching and hope this will help you a lot.